Welcome back, everybody. Let's talk about the rivers first, shall we? The uh, river will crest. This, this is the Wabash River. Will crest in Clinton on Wednesday at 25.8 feet. Also in Montezuma, the projection is 25.8 feet on Wednesday. The crest in Terre Haute will be on Wednesday at just over 23 feet. Saturday in Hudsonville at 24, a little more than 24 feet. Riverton 23.8 on Saturday and Vincennes 23.4 on Sunday. So although the rain has stopped, the river is going to continue to rise as all of the drainage continues to pour into the rivers. The White River cresting in Spencer on Wednesday, Elliston and Newberry on Thursday, Friday in Edwardsport and Petersburg on Sunday. Now these numbers may change tomorrow. I'll update this for you for the next few days. Uh, these numbers may change tomorrow because of the additional rain we had late this afternoon and into this evening. Uh, right now the Embra River is projected to crest in Newton on Wednesday, St. Marie on Wednesday and Lawrenceville on Wednesday as well. So we'll continue to monitor that no matter what. The rivers are on the rise and will continue to be a problem with lowland flooding and uh, roads and places like that. Uh, also uh, uh, fields and places that are flooding and so we're going to continue to monitor that even though the rain is moving out. Still there's a flood warning for all area rivers and streams through January the 7th. So we're going to continue to have some water problems at least through uh, January the 7th. But a look at the clouds and the radar show this center of low pressure that's circulating around. But see we've got just a little patch of rain right here. So it's possible that during the next few hours we could have a little bit of rain move through here. And I know that's kind of unnerving. You hear rain and you think, oh, here comes more. But this is not much rain at all. See, it's just barely showing up here right around Charleston, a little bit down here in Clay County, Illinois. So just a little bit of rain, not the heavy rain that we've had, but it's going to be windy and it's still rather mild. 47 degrees, Linton 46. Uh, Vincennes has 46, Robinson 46, and Casey 47 degrees, primarily because of a southwest wind at 22 miles per hour, 20 in Robinson, 22 in Vincennes, 23 in Paris, and this is a steady wind. This is not a wind that kind of dies down and comes back. This is a steady wind that we're me measuring right now, and also gusty, a gusty wind. 30 mile per hour gust, 37 in Linton, 31 in Vincennes, 29 in Robinson, uh, Rockville 35, Paris 28, uh, Casey 32, so that'll rattle the windows as well. And so this is just really a, a stretch of unpleasant weather that we've had for the past few days. Now here's a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast. This is 1 a.m., that little line of showers that I showed you over on the uh, Storm Team 10 uh, storm tracker just a, just a few moments ago. Uh, now that'll move through here, and so about 1 a.m. we expect it to pass through and go across the state line, and then it'll move through. So during the overnight hours, we'll have a few lingering showers, but those will dissipate, and then we get into the day tomorrow, and it'll still be cloudy, but it's also going to be windy and colder tomorrow too, not as warm as it was today. We had a high today of 52 degrees. Now through the overnight hours, we may still be in the mid to upper 40s, but the daytime high tomorrow will be in the lower 40s. 38 lingering showers, a gusty southwest wind, and then for tomorrow, cloudy and cold, a gusty southwest wind, a high of 41. And then for tomorrow night, cloudy, colder, not as windy tomorrow night, 30 degrees for the overnight low. And the seven day forecast, a little trough, a little ripple in the atmosphere could bring us the possibility of a brief wintry mix on Wednesday, but the rest of the week looks like it's going to be colder and dry as we wrap up the year 2015 and say hello to 2016.